Open the doors and windows tutorial drawing. Set a split view, looking at the front of the garage and the front entrance way. From the floor tab, click the door tool. From door styles, choose the garage door. Enter a width of 18 feet and press enter to accept the new value. Drag your cursor along the wall. In this case, when it says midpoint, just release the mouse button to set the position of the door. Click the door tool again and you'll notice that it deselects that door. Now we'll choose a custom door and from the drop down we'll choose light for the style and we'll choose this oval glass door. We'll change the width to 3 feet and press enter. Drag along the wall, release, and then move the cursor to set the door swing and click to place. In Tool Options, you can click Flip Door, and you can also change the door swing value. We've set it to minus 20 and pressed Enter. You can also choose Hardware while the door is selected. Just select from the pop-up the hardware style that you'd like on the door. Now we'll change our view so that we're looking in towards the dining room. Click the door tool. This time we'll choose the cased opening and we'll just place that in the wall. While it's selected, you can drag the handles to resize the door. So you can resize the door manually with your mouse and cursor as well as entering in a new value. Click the door tool again. Now from the door styles we'll choose the patio door and we'll set the width for six feet. Don't forget to press enter and click to place it. Now select the six panel interior door, set the width for two foot six inches, and place the rest of the doors as you see in the following image. Remember that you can go back and change the size of doors or the style of doors later at any point as you work. Next, let's place some windows. Set up your view so that you're looking at 2D and 3D side by side. From the window tool, we'll choose window styles and choose this double hung window. Drag along the wall to place and just release. In tool options, you can change the width, entering in a new value. Don't forget to press enter. You can also adjust the height of the window. And you can also adjust the elevation from the bottom of the window down to the ground. Now we'll place one more of these double hung windows over in the garage. Drag along the wall and release to place. Next we'll place some picture windows or fixed windows. You can change the number of grills or millions. We'll place three and then take a moment and place the rest of these windows around the plan. Your finished image should look like this.